All right, let's check out some of these settings because that's what the people really are here for. Got a nice widescreen format. Yeah, frame rate cap. Sure. No uh, audio settings, which I always find odd. I feel that the audio settings are kind of uh, underappreciated these days because some games are so loud, some games are so quiet. There's never yeah. like there's never a good default setting. Yeah, it, you can never like just sort of jump in and feel happy. <laughs> So this is Danger Zone 2 on PC. That's Gilman, as always, man in the controls. I'm Zach, known as Squall Snake on the site. You can follow us at mygamer.com and at mygamernews. And the goal here is to just bash everything off the road. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Within reason. <laughs> like... So, so you want to bash... You just don't want to fall off the road yourself, as you did right there. Yes. Uh... As, as you can see, I, I was driving like a drunk. It's kind of like pinball. You can just push these cars. Well, this is done by former... Uh, uh, burnout. Uh, is it burnout? burnout so that's exactly what this is. This is more comical because you can just bump cars forward. If you ever played... There's an Atari 2600 game called Barnstorming where you play as a as a jet plane and birds get in your way and you like bump from from their you know from behind and uh, this is giving me a lot of so uh, barnstorming. If you would like deep barnstorming more, there's actually like this huge controversy on the world record of barnstorming. Oh, I know what you're talking because there's like this glitch or something. I know what you're. I, I, I've seen something about this. Uh, it's not. It's not even the that. It's fucking. Uh, uh. So back when, uh, Twin Galaxies was still doing. Um. Uh, like you got those goals and everything like that. Yeah. Uh, they. They, uh, the way that you would confirm a record wasn't as stringent as it is now. So, like, all you needed was a judge to verify it, so there's no video evidence of any of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna take a sip of water. So, someone, and it's like one of the, Dragster is like one oh, of the famous yeah. ones. Yeah. But, like, I guess, like, there's a bunch of games that have come under fire for it, but, like, Dragster is just, um, you know, like, the, the famous one, basically. Um, but, like, Barnstorming is another one that, like, you can't even go, you can't even, like, beat that record in fucking, like, the tag, the, the tool system speedrun can't even beat the record. Yeah. Like, it, it, it just, it's not, it's not possible. It's not a thing. There was some kind of gl glitch in barnstorming where, like, you hit the, you hit that like the barn, and then you like bounce off all weird, and you get like more points. There's there's some kind of a glitch oh, they, that. This wasn't even the points. This was yeah. like, how fast you could do it. Okay. Um, but anyway, this, yeah, maybe I totally got. That was a total side tangent there because we're not playing barnstorming. Well, no, playing you thought about barnstorming. Yeah. So after you can, after you crash, you can still control the car a little bit. Where you gotta get those, yeah. See, yeah. Where you gotta get, you gotta get the bonus explosions and medals. You get the, what was the? There was the Burnout game. I'm gonna look this up on. I think it was the original Xbox. Is that Burnout Two or Burnout Three, maybe. One of them. And that one was like the best one. Uh, Paradise I liked a lot. I don't know. You know what? I don't. I didn't that play. Was the 360 one. I did not play that one. Oh really? That's unfortunate. Burnout Paradise was fucking fantastic. Yeah, I think it was Burnout. Burnout Three Takedown is what I played on the original Xbox. And I thought that was kind of fun. There's been a lot of these games. Oh, there's 
this isn't officially a burnout game, but right, yeah, it's, because it's not, it's, yeah, that, it's yeah, a burnout's burnout an, fucking yeah, burnout, game. yeah, burnout's an EA game, but there's been burnout one, two, revenge, dominator, legends, paradise, three, more paradise, another burnout, burnout anthology, burnout crash. Wait a minute. This is just good, classic, kind of mindless, stupid fun. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to really think too hard. You can just kind of... Wow, I did worse than last time. Because there's just as much of a puzzle element as there is like a reaction element yeah. because you got got to hit it just right you have to know what to hit when to hit it where to go you kind of have to you know you got to experiment a little bit figure it out trial and error absolutely caravans so you also have like a moon target that you're supposed to like hit Oh, got, okay, so you gotta hit yeah, five caravans. Got it, I see it now. Collisions. Look at that huge camper you just kicked off the road. That's the caravan. Oh, that's what they're calling a caravan. Yeah. Now we're talking like, you know, Dodge caravans. <laughs> yes, I, everyone fucking hates Dodge caravans. I mean, that, that's, that's the no brainer of this. Oh, so once you stop in the danger zone, that's how it's like game over. Well, no, you. I. I think I crashed my car. Is what happened. Oh. Um, but I like also sort of cleared it because I taken out all of the fucking. Campers. Yes, I would have called them campers versus scared. Yeah. Me sleep, but whatever. So three out of five. Next one's up here. Ooh, nice domino effect on that one. The money bag. Oh. oh, beautiful! The smash breaker. <laughs> Probably crash breaker is copyrighted. Yeah, I forget what burnout called it. Something. Got the bronze. Yeah, yeah silver. silver. Yeah. You know what they call silver, right? Loser. First, 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 loser. first yeah, first loser. Yeah. Well, it's better to be the first loser than the second or third loser. Yeah. So, how do you feel about the new Pokemon? Sword and Shield. Yeah. Well, on a scale of one to I don't give a fuck, I'm going to go with I don't give a fuck. Really? I gave up on Pokemon playing the RPG game. So I played the hell out of Pokemon Blue. I got like every Pokemon except for like a Tauros, maybe like one other. I had Mew at one point. So I had like 100 and let's say 49 out of the 151 Pokemon. I played the game for hours. And then I picked up Pokemon Silver. Probably played it for, you know... 10 hours at the time, you know, back in the day on my Game Boy Color. And then after 10 hours, I was like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to grind. I don't want to, like, hunt and, like, now you gotta, you can only find certain Pokemon, like, during certain times and there's different, like, is it male or female? Then you gotta break. It just got too complicated and it just felt like busy work and it's like, I just don't want to do this anymore. I want to go play something else. So ever, so that was my last you know, RP true Pokemon RPG that I played but I enjoyed Pokemon Snap. I thought Pokemon Pinball on Game Boy Advance was, you know, a good game. And, uh, you know, the offshoot games I've enjoyed way more. There's like Pokemon, was it Troze or Traze, however you say that, you know, like the puzzle game. Like, I like the, those games way more. Like, I, I understand Pokemon. Like, I get why people would play it. 
And if I had all my friends playing it, then it would be cool, I guess. But nobody, you know, none of my friends care. I don't have the time to catch all these Pokemon anymore with all these other games and everything else that they have to do in life now. So I just, I just don't care. Like, I'm glad it, it exists, and I know people are excited about it because we haven't had a, a true Pokemon game on a console. Granted, ever. it's on the Switch. Ever, yeah, ever, right? It's always been Pokemon Stadiums and uh, the offshoot games. So to have, like, a true console experience, or, you know, uh, you know, a Pokemon experience on a console that you can dock to your TV and play it, that's, like, the one cool thing that I like. You know, like, uh, you know, uh, I think it's time for a change, because I know all the Pokemon games have slowly been evolving over time, but they've always been on handheld. But that's been the nature of it, because you want to trade and be social about these games, but the Switch is a good platform for that. Um, I, I was... So, yeah, what do you, what do you think about it? So, I was actually, uh, there was, like, this YouTube channel I was watching, and there was this guy who was talking in, like, detail about it, and he was like, you know, I love Pokemon, but for the longest time, I couldn't put my finger on, like, why I honestly just wasn't, like, excited about the new Pokemon game, like, 3D Pokemon games. Yeah. And it was, like... Oh, okay. Um, that every time the, a 3D Pokemon game came, like a 2D Pokemon game, they changed the sprites. The sprites were fucking alive. Yeah, they added like some more animations yeah. and then like tag team. Ba you know, they've always like you know uh, well, you know upgraded but the it. And were, like, yeah, living and breathing. And after they switched to like, uh, what was it? Uh, 3D. It, they basically just recycled the sprites every time. And so after that, it's kind of always felt like the same game. Yeah, yeah this is what, yeah, I, I agree with that. Like, because it wasn't it, and, and again, I... I and he even just went wanted... out of his way to point out that, like, no one's talking about it, but they're using literally the same fucking sound. They're using DS sound effects. Like, they're using the exact fucking same sound effects from the DS. As Wasn't it? On the and then, Switch, when they were showing it, and they're like, you know, they, they say straight up, like, these are placeholders and everything, and that's all well and good, but, you know, like, this is what you're showing off to us. Like, if we don't believe you know, that's, that's, you know, it's your job to make us believe you. Wasn't it one of the recent games on 3DS, like, not, like, the last game, but, like, one of the last games where it finally got rid of even, like, you're, you're just not walking on a grid anymore, you can just kind of walk, like, wherever you want. Oh, like, three-dimensional walk? Yeah, you're not just, like, walking, like, on a tile-based um. grid. That's, that, you know... It, again, I don't know the exact, but that's like a recent development too. So it's like it's been kind of slower to, yeah, evolve, I guess. But they've they've always added something. Like I like the the concept of the of the 3ds online Pokemon Bank, a place where you can upload all your Pokemon and then import them. Yeah, into, except for the fact that they fucking charge you. you that's exactly what I was going to say next. Like they charge. Like you can only store like you know so many for for free or so, I don't know what the, the criteria is. I don't, I don't know, maybe you could store like 10 for free or something, and then if you want to do anything else, you got to pay. I, I, I'm, I'm probably totally wrong on that, but the point, yeah, I like that idea of like being able to carry like all my Pokemon from like almost every game to like, you know, have them in one location. I, I like that concept. I think that's cool because it like gives you a place to store your hard work and all your, your hours put into it, you know? But yeah, you know, I don't know if this new game is going to take advantage of that. That, that's interesting. Like, is the Pokemon Bank gonna, like, transfer... Yeah, and I don't like, even know if people are still... DS. Yeah, I don't know if people are still even, like, using it. But was it a success? Were, you know, were people excited about it? Um, I, I think Sun and Moon were a success because they made two of those fucking games. Sun and Moon, and then I heard, like, Black and White 2 was also, like, one of the better Pokemon games. I've actually heard very, very good things about Black and White. Yeah, I heard, I heard I heard black and white 
one was okay, but then Black and White 2 was like way better or something. Like that was like That's one the of, one, uh, like if you're going to jump into it, you get the Black and White. Um, maybe. Yeah. Two, supposedly. Um, and like if it's like Sun and Moon. If you if you haven't played Sun and Moon, you get Sun and yeah. Moon Ultra and you just go ahead and skip Sun and Moon apparently. Um because they rehash a lot of the same areas, but the plots entirely different. Um between them, but, it, like, so you're visiting a lot of the same areas, but the second one has more content to go through. Son of a bitch! So the second one has more content to go through, and, um, more, like, slightly more Pokemon, of course, and I don't know, it's just, like, longer or something. It's, like, normally they're better games. Or what the fuck ever. I like how you can play as a race car now. Like I don't think Burnout had that. I think it was always just like a like a legit car. Is this does it is this race car control any different? Like is it looser or fa- you know? It's 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 hugging the road like crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um I mean, like, it's making these... It, like, I'm going way faster than the other cars, and I would not be able to make these corners in the other cars going this fast at all. Um, that said, like, I'm also going really fast, like, around blank corners, kind of. Okay. Oh, that was a good one. You lost your whole wheel. Yeah, both of them. Both si- yeah, the side of your car, yeah. Oh, man. At least I got a bronze that time. You have I to don't get, care. You have to get a bronze at least to keep going, to continue to the next level. I think so. Yeah, I think that's maybe how burnout was or something. Like you had to do so well to move on. You couldn't just play like any level at any time. Yeah. Causing some havoc. Havoc. Havoc with the, the trucks dropping their loads. <laughs> You're an asshole. Okay, thanks for telling me I crashed. I just like it just like stopped abruptly and it's just like I'm like uh crashed. Oh, okay, thank you. One of the important things about a game like this is because it's so action packed and fast paced. I like how you got pretty much like instant reloads. Like you have you can't wait for a loading screen in between. That's just gonna kill it and drive everybody crazy. You gotta have fast it's like a, it's an absolute requirement. For a game like this. Man, I got this on like it was a sneak sale and it was dirt fucking. Which I have to admit I was like really impressed with. Like Yeah, I haven't I didn't hear about it. I didn't know about it until you told me about it. And Danger Zone 2 is also on PS4 and Xbox One. And I did not know that either. And it came out last summer, 2018 in July. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good game to keep your eye out for if you ever get some, you know, a Steam sale or... Like a PSN sale. I was just going to say a PSN flash sale. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 
I've been playing, and I'm going to post a review on it soon. i got to just write the review. I've been playing a lot of this game on Switch. It's called Space War Arena. I think I was telling you about it the other day, like on the chat or whatever. But from screenshots, this game looks stupid. It looks like garbage. If you look at a screenshot, you're like, what the hell is this? This doesn't like make any sense. It looks. It just looks bad from looking at screenshots. It's just... So like, was like, oh, the I'm, space I'm, war. Yeah. yeah. You asked me about that, and so, I was like, so, fuck no. Yeah, yeah exactly. You're like, fuck this game. It doesn't look good. And I was like, all right, well, I'll take it. I, you know, I, even though I got a bunch of games that I got to cover. but So I took it, and I started playing this game. And I was like, I like this game. This game's actually, like, really it good. It terrible. It looks so bad. Like, you, can, it doesn't... You look at a screen... This is, this is a perfect example of a game that looks horrible if you're looking at screenshots or even a trailer but when you're playing it you're like hmm, I understand I, I, I get it now and this is actually a fun game it's basically a a single screen um, uh, like I, I'm going to send my troops out to kill your troops it's like it's not like a real time it's not a real time strategy game but um, but you still have to like kind of manage some resources and you just send out your guys it's kind of like real-time chess where instead of it being turn-based like I'm just going to send out guys to take over your side of the screen but it's like you know oh, if, you know they have names for that there's actually names for that kind of game yeah they, well, they oh, just call it track. well it's 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 right it's it's I guess you could clar- clarify it as no, that that's but it's called a real-time strategy game <laughs> so the difference here though is it's on, it's only on one screen like resources you don't have to like you know make a, a base to and then make a you know a, a granary to harvest you know supplies and food and then get resources and wood and stuff like that it's just you just automatically get space fuel or whatever they call it and that just constantly adds up and then you spend your space fuel to send out uh, ships you know, you of different have a non-traditional yeah but anyway, yeah, so this game, I really like this game. It's it's simple, but you can uh, dig deep if you want and really outsmart your player. So, um, awesome game. So check out Space War Arena. That review will be posted, I don't know, give me a week or something. i got to hammer out a review for that. But I've been playing a lot of that on Switch. Surprise Sleeper Hit came out of nowhere. Really good game. Oh yeah, what was that? Did I give you that or did I give that did I give that to you? Yes. Um and it's actually it's actually it's actually not bad. Um oddly enough. Uh, was that the aggressors game? Yeah, aggressors Aggressors Ancient Rome. Yes. Um It was not at all what I was expecting. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not that. Um, you said it was kind of like a civilization. It's it's not. It's yes and no. Um, it reminds me. It, it functions a little bit like civilization, but it kind of plays a lot like Total War. Mm. Um, it reminds okay. me a lot of like how you move in like Total War. Okay. Yeah. Um. It's 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 pretty good. It's not a bad game. Um, the game that is bad is that uh, other game that claimed to be exactly like Civilization. Um, oh yeah. That every time I try to play that game, I get at, at the gates. At the gates, and I get like maybe twenty minutes in, and I'm like, I can't like. And sometimes I'll get farther in than others, but every time it's the same fucking thing. It's just like... Yeah, that was a game where, you know, it got kind of mixed reviews I saw. Like, some people gave it eight, some people gave it threes. Like, it was a totally mixed bag on that one. I'd, I'd at 100%, I could see that. 
that there are just people that were like, oh, I love how complex and deep this is. And then there are people that, like me, that are just like, this game is entirely I can't be a <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, I don't know, it's not. Yeah, they see that's the that's the key. No matter what a game maybe looks like or sounds like, but if you're not having fun, it's the whole point of a game is you gotta rate it on its fun factor. And it's, it's one of those things that it's like I, I'm getting sick of the fucking pixel art art style. It's everywhere. Well, it like a while ago it was like oh you know like nostalgic it's, it's throwback you know. nostalgia stuff, and it's like now it kind of feels like. Well, it's the easy way out. I mean, anybody can make pixel art with you know, something as simple as Photoshop, whereas you need 3D software and, to make, and, and some and some skill to make 3D stuff. So yeah, it is the, the cheaper and awesome. faster. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You know what else is a good game is Soldiers, Swords and Soldiers 2 because we played and we streamed that. We covered yeah. that on, on PC a while ago, and I've been playing it also on Switch because everything is just coming out on Switch these days. And uh, yeah, that's a that's a Very good game. Very good, uh, funny, like yeah, surprisingly yeah. so. Like it's it's like in cutscenes, games can be funny. It's hard for games to be funny, like real time. Yeah, which that I think that game succeeds in doing. Is that like every now and then the game will do something. Yeah, so also a good. So yeah, I've been playing that and then my Space War game. So I've been, uh, been having some fun on my Switch lately. Yeah, I've actually. Uh, I was actually thinking about writing an article about why I'm giving up on. I only boot up my PlayStation to get the free games, and my friend actually just let me borrow Spider-Man, so I put the disc in and I still have to like install it because it takes for like it takes like nine years to install like any game on PlayStation. So I'm like probably halfway through the install. But anyway, I want to just check out Spider-Man because I hear that was a pretty good game. Yeah, it, I mean, I, I have a lot of shit on like why I want to play. Like, I mean, the reason I bought my PlayStation when it was first coming out. You know, you had the marquee titles and everything, but Sony's always kind of been good to, like, niche developers, and that was, like, you would, like, supposedly that was, like, just going to be where you would find your niche games. And, you know, everyone, you know, if you follow any part of this at all, you know that I like me some niche games. Yeah, and, and like, if you, yeah, like, look at the Vita, for example, like, the Vita had a bunch of, like, JRPGs that you're not going to find anywhere else, you know, so there was the, you know, a, a unique set of games, And they, you know. like, gave, they, like, they, uh, just don't, they kind of, like, gave up on the Vita, I mean, and I understand yeah. that it wasn't making money or anything, but they just gave up on it, and now, like, with all of the censorship that they're enforcing on the PlayStation 4... It, that's ridiculous. Um, uh, to the point that, like, they'll deny a game um, in Japan, like, some of the visual novels that we've played, um, they'll deny it for, like, let's say, lewdness or whatever. Yeah. And uh, when you resubmit it, you have to resubmit it in English. They, uh, Sony, because I don't know if you remember this, there was this dating game, and we I think we had Adam review it. It was like uh, How to Be Like a Ladies' Man or something like that. No, that was but me. Like, you reviewed that? The, uh, uh, yes, I did review it, that. So, so originally, that game, it was set to be released on PS4, and at the last minute, so, they like, it was... They, they pulled it. It was supposed to launch. It was, uh... You know... Yeah, I'm trying to remember what that was called. They released a sequel to that game. Then there was a sequel only on Steam as well. 
So yeah, they, uh, you know, Sony yeah, pulled back on that because they thought there was going to be too much backlash because it was being rated as like this dating simulator and yeah, uh, you know, a pickup artist simulator. Pick a pickup artist simulator or however they yeah exactly. So and it was like, just like I can remember playing that with like friends and stuff. And by the way, my wife is there. I don't know if I mentioned that in the review. My wife is terrible at picking up chicks. I mean, come in and play with me. <laughs> yeah. she, she could not, not do it. She's got no game, huh? Yeah. I, like, made her come in that, uh... I made her come in and play with me. <laughs> it was... It, I'm like, no, I just pick the options. And she's like, oh, okay, this. And it, it was like, every time she was, like, getting chastised. She was, <laughs> was like, yeah, women don't like you. She's like, that's a load of shit! I would have loved... Yeah, that, that's hilarious. That, that would have been, like, an awesome stream to have, like, a chick play as the dude to pick up other chicks. That would have been... Oh, it was it there. was hysteric. It was really funny, when, dude. It it would have been a terrible scream because she literally got frustrated in like like a handful of minutes because he kept coming on and being like, "Oh, I can see where you're coming from, but that's not how this is played." And then she's like, "What's up with these coked out hookers that are next to him?" It was like, like God, this is why." <laughs> Yeah, I was like, "What? Is, I'm, try, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find this game." Seduction artist? Or? Oh, maybe that's what it was. Super yeah. seducer. Super seducer. There you go. Look at that. Look at you and your memory. Yeah. So anyway, that was the yes. Sony pulled that game. You know, the game was supposed to come out on like a Thursday, and then it was like Tuesday they announced like, "Yeah, you know what? We're not. We can't actually release this on PlayStation because they're not letting us." Because I asked for a PS4 code. Because I was like, you want to review this on Steam? You're like, no. I was like, all right, well, fine. I'll just review it on PS4 because it seems a unique game. They they instead just gave us a Steam code. And I was like, well, you got to play this one now. Yeah, so that's how that I came. I think I said I would super love to review this. Absolutely. Well, yeah. I mean, well, I tried. I think I said this would be the highlight of my life. Give it to me on. I, I think I said I want a physical copy of this so I can have it forever. Oh, I don't know if it ever. I don't think it came out in physical. I thought it was. No, uh, no, no. Digital, uh, only, yeah. Not, but, yeah. That's a, that's a special thing. That, that, that yeah, that would, that's like a limited run game. So I don't know if I ever told you this, but uh, that game, the way that it did its files, um, were, there's a bunch of videos. It was just videos, so I yeah. went into the folder, the game folder, and started and just checked to see like, is this really just videos and you can load them out of order if you want to so like I, I went through and found like the most ridiculous things and like just started showing them to my friends who didn't believe me that this shit was happening oh really yeah and like we started making like gifts and stuff with it but all those all that stuff's got to be you know posted on youtube and everything right now so you can uh, check it I out think, i think you can like actually watch it yeah Sure. That game is really fucking long. Really? Like, it goes on for fucking ever. <laughs> um, which is, like, something else that, like, no one gives that game credit for. Like, props to that guy. You got your money's worth. Like, people can bitch all they want. Like, fucking... <laughs> that game... That asshole taught you how to pick up pick up women fucking everywhere. Yeah, they in the press release they talked about how serious this guy you know, they like hired actors like professional actors. I mean maybe they were like, you know, B actors, but they, they had to, you know, film everything. They there's they seem like they put some like they put some effort into it and they really they promoted put that effort into it. They put yeah. I'm sure it was a lot of cocaine for the women that had to Okay. You never know. I, I, I don't doubt it, but, like, it, oh my god, it was such, Super Seducer was so fucking, oh, that game is, that was, game is just so fucking amazing. That was a once-in-a-lifetime game. Yeah, 
I, you like I don't can we even stream that? Maybe we can't even stream. May, Twitch might have even blocked that game or something. Ooh, I thought. Oh, no. I don't even know, man. I thought there was something even about that, like because yeah, I can't remember. I don't know. I could be getting something wrong, but I think we did stream it. They really kept blocking. Maybe that's what it was. Um, I think we have a YouTube video up, and I think no one cared. Can you knock cars up, that? Oh, there we go. Now, is it me or does this all kind of look like the area around Vegas? It is deserty, but at the same time, hilly, you know, mountainy. This is a nice jump you got going on here. And just made it. somewhere but you can still get that metal okay you blow up the car vertically and you're still driving forward Where's the speed belt? I don't know I and I don't know it. where anyone's going because this road's not completed right you had a jump. <laughs> this road should have been blocked off miles, <laughs> miles like, back. It doesn't go anywhere. It just ends no. in like a fucking dead end. <laughs> they were all going off the cliff. This car is very much nuts. No, you're the only car of that type on the street. The, the name of this level is Crash. Near miss. Remember that game um, where you had to play as the stunt car driver, stunt man, yeah. and you had to get near misses. That, that was like was the terrible. whole. I did not like that game at all. Um, if, if I remember correctly, that game was every review I ever read. Everyone called that game like near impossible. <laughs> Yeah, it was super. It was one of the free games. Like there was a, it wasn't Stuntman, but it was a game like Stuntman on Xbox uh, not too long ago. And I played. It. I was like, I don't like this game. It's too. You got to be perfect at it. Yeah. It's so needy. Oh, yeah, it was Stuntman Ignition. Came out towards the end of last year, and I played that. So that was like a... Because the first Stuntman came out in, I was like, on PlayStation 2. And Stuntman Ignition was not... I did not like that game at all. No one liked it. Yeah, not good. Frame rate seems pretty nice. I have a very nice and uh, CPU and like way more RAM than I will ever need. Did I ever tell you the story? I went to an interview um, and like you know I work in IT, so like they were asking about like oh what's the computer that you have at home? And I started describing my home computer and. Uh, like, yeah, 32 gigs of RAM. And the guy's like, you, you have 32 gigs. Why would you have 32 gigs of RAM in your computer? <laughs> because I, you can't. And I was like, I, I, it's funny because I was like, I don't know. I think I was trying to like future-proof my computer at right, the time. Right, well, yeah. Well, you and like, it, it's yeah. funny because like, the, the I, like thinking back on it, the real reason that he was like trying to call me out on it is like the 32 gigs of RAM at that point was something like would have been something like over five hundred dollars just for <laughs> just for you right yeah yeah because when well, when like, did you build your computer bought, it wasn't when yeah. I bought it it was like a hundred and fifty dollars yeah like it, because <laughs> because like RAM prices have shot through the fucking well I don't know what they are now because I haven't looked in a while but like 
they 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 shot through the fucking roof. And uh, oh, cool. Um, that was a that was a horrible cr- like you just tapped that van that truck. There are and a you bunch of poof. times that I've played this game that I'm like, uh, I don't know why that would have been considered. <laughs> Yeah, and I think that might have been one of the reasons I didn't get that job, is because there's no fucking way you get 32 gigs of RAM. By the way, my computer has 32 fucking gigs of RAM. <laughs> For real, we're not making this yeah, up. Yeah, no, it's not like me being a dick. It's like, no, I when I built my computer, it like, wasn't that expensive. So then why not? And if you got the expansion sp- slots for well, it, who it, cares? It's not, the funny thing is, like, when I was actually doing that, I was actually contemplating, like, expanding it up to 64. And I was like, uh, and, and my exact thing was, like, it's, this has been expensive. You'll never, you'll never need it. my first computer we got when I was like, I don't know, like maybe eight or nine, I want to say. And like, I remember my dad, you know, when, you know, he, when he bought the computer for me and my brother, you know, we, we sprung for the extra money to get, I think it was to get four yeah. megabytes of RAM versus the two megabytes of RAM, you know, for an extra, like, you know, a couple hundred bucks or whatever it was. Oh man, at the time, that was like 19, you know, 90 or something, we got it. 91, maybe. Things have changed. Yeah. I, I can remember my brother and I installing more RAM and overclocking. Back in the day, uh, before, like, heat sinks. Back in the day, kids, heat sinks and uh, fans on your computer weren't mandatory. Um, you could melt, actually, you'd melt, melt your shit. Uh, no, you wouldn't actually melt your shit. Um, you, you could actually fucking, um, like processors were built in such a way that you didn't necessarily need a heat sink and fan because they were just designed to run at like whatever fucking speed. <laughs> it like heat your whole room up. No, it was like, oh, okay, so like, it, this is like you bought this, it's supposed to run at 133 megahertz. It's just going to run at 133 megahertz. And it's like, so what, what, what happens if I put a heat sink and fan on it? Well, you yeah. can overclock that bitch up to 333 <laughs> megahertz. And it's like, my brother and I found that out. We're like, how much does a heat sink and fan cost? Yeah. And it was like 20 bucks. We're like, we're fucking doing that. Oh, there that. you go. Yeah, yeah. Man, I remember the very first generation Xbox 360 that I think came with like, you know, the the ones that got all the red rings. I think it had like a 20 gig hard drive thing at the time. The very first launch my buddy got one at launch and we were playing in his room and he would turn it on. It's, it was so fucking loud. And he had uh, one of those like little portable like thermometer things in your room that gives you like the outside temperature, gives you the inside temperature. And like when we would start playing Xbox, we'd play like Perfect Dark Zero, a shitty game. And within like 10 minutes, his room would like increase by like three degrees, his whole room because the Xbox is on. Making all this noise and making all this heat is crazy. Or, 
this launch Xbox 360 was liquid cooled because it never fucking made much of a noise. No. And I'm, yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, no. <laughs> no. And this is like, uh, what, 2005? 2000, yeah. Two, yeah. Uh, 2004, yeah. 2005. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. He's like, yeah, no, it totally is. Why wouldn't it make any noise? And I'm like, I don't know. It's running properly. You don't actually tax it that much. He's like, no, I totally do. only reason it could be like that and i'm like and this is like at the time that it was like if like liquid cooling something would like i think liquid cooling the cheapest even if you were to like mass buy it would be like 50 dollars per unit for microsoft it's like they're not gonna liquid cool shit man it's gonna be 50 dollars a unit for them it's like 250 dollars Fucking retail. Like, <laughs> yeah. you can't buy that shit yeah, in no, bulk like no, that. No, it doesn't, yeah, it does not work like that. <laughs> yeah, but he demanded, he was like, no, it's totally, it's totally, it's totally what it is. And it's like, alright, if you say so. And he's like, okay. never did a red ring. And it's like, you never play Xbox 360. I do all the time. I'm like, I never see you on. And even you didn't even have to like the launch Xbox. You didn't even have to like play it. You, you just turn it on. You didn't have to do anything. It would just be so loud, and it would just it would just heat up your room. And then if you actually you're playing a game, you know, off the disc, it would spin and be even louder. Man, I remember that was that was crazy back in the day. Oh yeah, dude. I I had a 360, and I. Played it. Pretty fucking sure I returned my 360 some fucking ridiculous like 12 fucking times. Oh, I mean I wasn't that high, but I I think I have had I think I'm I still have my my Xbox 360 Slim, the last gen version, and oh I don't know I this is maybe my fourth or fifth Xbox 360 oh, I got something mine like really that. Really close to launch and fucking. Yeah, it had like a Best Buy replacement plan. It was pretty fucking bad. And I kept, it was like, it got to the point that it was like at least once every six months I had to take it back to Best yeah, Buy. And then it was were... like repurchase the replacement plan just because it was so fucking convenient. Yeah, they all break. Yeah, j it j because it's like, what am I going to do? Send, the, send it in the coffin and wait like... <laughs> That's, three months yeah i send mine to microsoft because they they say hey, you hey my my xbox broke they send you a box you put the plate uh, the xbox in a box and you ship it back and it takes three weeks to get back but then they just give you they fix it or give you a new one yeah and, it, and at that point i was just like no i'll just fucking it was like i think it was like 30 or 40 bucks or something you still have 30 like yeah, you maybe had to still pay for shipping or something. I don't know. No, remember, it but... was thirty bucks if you got the. Oh, you're talking about plan. the oh the replace. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that buy. was worth it. Yes, that was worth it. And it, it was you like got nah, and it's like every time you got one, they're like, "You want to re up your replacement plan?" I'm like, "Yup." Yup. Yep. Absolutely. And yep. it was the cost of whatever the item was. So if there was a price drop on the three six, that's how I got my elite because I got a launch system. Oh, and when there because was a you price had yeah, drop, yeah. They had to honor the fact that I paid four hundred dollars for mine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that was us for this week. Yeah. Uh, so that was Danger Zone 2. Uh, you can follow us at, at mygamer.com. Put us in your favorites. We got a lot of reviews that we just posted, a lot of reviews last month, a lot more coming this month, too. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. And thank you for watching. And until next week, game on.